Were you impressed by the Google event yesterday? No, I think it was impressive. I, put, I said in February, you know, like when all this thing was going on, like, come on, Google will be one of the main winners here. They have the LLMs, they have the hardware. You do know you're, you're the only person who said that on the show, and I've asked many, and they've all said that Google are the laggards. It just takes a bit of time to move the ship, right? And so they've done massive organizational changes and other things. But I can tell you, TPUs are the most scalable architecture. Like we have zero failure rate with our TPU language model training. Whereas with GPUs, it's like there's an ECC error. Why? A solar flare. Okay, run failed because the sun is angry with us and stuff like that. So when you've got the full stack and you have all that talent in Google, the question is, how do you make it? organized, right? And so they had to have a story. Google did something called Project Aristotle, where they analyzed what made the best teams versus the worst teams at Google. And it came down to shared narrative and psychological safety. People at Google were scared over the last few years because it came this weird monoculture, but now everyone has a shared narrative of, let's build the best language models. And now there's an increased amount of psychological safety being able to speak to things, the walls being brought down between deep mind and brain. And so I think you'll see them continuously improving. But then that does mean, if you're a proprietary language model company, how are you going to compete with that vehemoth? The deep mind kind of uh, desegregation or kind of yeah. unification uh, was supposed to have caused a lot of friction and be a negative press reported. Do you disagree with that? Of course. It is a lot of kind of replicated jobs. There was kind of brain and mind, and now they're kind of brought together. And it's a very different management style and other things. These things are never easy. But this is why like you saw Palm 540 billion parameters and that you had DeepMind with 67 billion parameter chinchilla, chinchilla, which is like just train more as opposed to more parameters. You look at Palm 2, it's a combination of both. And so it's trained for far more on far better data. And then that means it's only a fraction of the size, like 14 billion parameters is one of the test comparator models versus the 540 and 67. So you can start to see this fusion of ideas, even if the teams, you could not integrate two big teams like that instantly.